Mobility in West and Central Africa is diverse, rich and complex. Regional mobility is driven by the migration of individuals looking for economic and livelihood opportunities, the circular movement of seasonal labourers and agro-pastoralist herders, as well as the forced displacement of populations fleeing conflict and natural disasters. The region hosts 9.8 million migrants, with the largest communities living in Côte d'Ivoire and Nigeria. Despite what many people believe, migration in West and Central Africa is primarily intra-regional. Four out of five immigrants living in West and Central Africa come from another country within the region. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic heavily impacted population movements. Between January and May 2020, migration flows declined by 40%. With the progressive easing of restrictions, migration flows soon bounced back, reaching levels 39% higher than in 2019 by the final quarter of 2020. Border closures and mobility restrictions along other migration routes led to the reactivation of the West African Atlantic route, by which migrants traveled by boat to the Spanish Canary Islands. In 2020, over 23,000 individuals landed irregularly on the Canary Islands, as opposed to under 3,000 in 2019. Widespread violence, food insecurity, armed attacks, and the devastating impact of climate change forced millions of individuals to flee their homes in search of shelter and a safer place. Internal displacement in West and Central Africa grew by 32% in 2020. By December 2020, the region was home to 7.5 million internally displaced persons and 1.3 million refugees and asylum seekers. The International Organization for Migration is assisting stranded migrants who wish to go home. Between 2017 and 2020, 102,825 migrants benefited from IOM assistance.